this is mathematically related and it's obviously has no cause and effect type of relationship. But the other the other result that people might come to is to say that that there's the, the correlation is meaningless because correlation does not equal causation. So what's the point of doing the calculation if correlation doesn't equal causation? Because what's what we're trying to do usually is try to find a cause and effect type of relation with the mathematical calculation of a correlation. So so note that if there is a correlation, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a cause and effect relationship. However, if there is a cause and effect relationship, you would think we would be able to find a correlation. So in other words, the correlation is still important because it might lead us to the question of, is there a cause and effect relationship? It's more likely that there is a cause and effect relationship is there a, if there is a correlation, but we have to be careful that, that there's not always a cause and effect relationship. So the general idea would be when we're thinking about correlation, we're looking at different data sets to see if there's a mathematical relation between the different data sets. And if there is a mathematical relation or correlation between the data sets, the next logical question would be, is there a cause and effect relationship between the data sets? And if we determine that there is a cause and effect relationship between the data sets, which is causing the correlation or mathematical relation, the next logical question would be, what's the causal factor in the cause and effect relation, which is causing